Hello everyone this is AK after a long break i'm coming into youtube it feels good to be back on my channel and i decided to put some useful contents on data engineering side every week from now on we can expect some good video on this channel like before and if you like my content do share and subscribe let's start this video so in this video we are going to talk about one of the important things on data engineering side that is called memory optimization and if you see the data engineering stack right now there are a lot of tools like spark hadoop offers good scaling for handling the big data with low memory consumption but if you go little back there there is a python wrapper called pandas which offers same data manipulation facility like pyspark and hadoop then why we migrated from pandas to pyspark so when the data grows exponentially big pandas won't able to offer the parallel computing feature for its operations but it is still there on the data side for low effort computations Spark offers more memory computation rather than the Pandas, so that's why it is widely used now. And if you want more explanation and comparison between Pandas and PySpark, I already uploaded a video for you which help you to understand the core difference between them. Better you can check those video for more understanding. So the main context of the video is how to make Pandas more memory optimized for its operation. If you want some peak optimization on memory side, I would suggest users to go for PySpark. But the users who still use Pandas, there are some ways are there. we are going to explore one of the way in this video in this video i'm going to use chunk for pandas to optimize the pandas code to consume less amount of memory for doing the transformations on large data set here i already implemented the code i'm going to explain you the coding part with some proper explanations if you have any doubt you can ping me in the comment section i will reply to your doubts here i imported a pandas numpy these are the main libraries and for displaying the memory information i imported the memory profiler This memory profiler will act as a decorator here for tracking the memory consumption rate on both set of data frames. In the first set of code, I have read the data using pandas without chunks implemented, and in the second set, I implemented the chunk size parameter while reading the data frame. Let's see about the chunk mechanism in the second set of code. In the first set, I created a function normal pandas processing. Here, I am just reading one data frame with normal pandas, and I attach it here mean and group by aggregations. Let's see how much memory is consuming to perform this operation on large data set. To see here it consumed some sort of memory. Let's see how much memory consumed on chunks enabled data frame. So we have the both results now. Comparatively chunks consumed less memory compared to normal pandas. So what are the process happening behind the chunks enabled data frame? Why it is consuming less amount of memory? The concept of chunks is if you have 1 million records, it will split your data into different parts. Like in our example, our data frame has 1 million rows. and i mentioned the chunk size as 1 lakh 1 million equal to 10 lakhs so it will split 1 million into 10 different parts and process each one every time for example first time it will process 1 lakh set of records and it will go for another set of records same like it will go for 10 times until it reaches its threshold so once it processes all the set of records it will concatenate all the 10 sets into single data frame for better understanding normal pandas data frame process 1 million records straightforwardly but chunk enabled data frame process 1 lakh in 10 times eventually we are getting the same results as we expected the way of handling here is different so this is the process behind the chunks i showed you how to use the chunks in pandas and there are some disadvantages are there in the chunks potentially it will make your code more complex to read every time you have to add the concatenate function to concatenate the chunk data so it will take more time to understand and process the code compared to normal pandas if you have small set of logic you use chunks but in case if you have more complex logics in your requirement better you move for pandas that will make your code more readable so that's all about this quick video thanks for watching and thank you see you on next week